What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica! Today I'm doing something that is very always highly requested. That is an update video. What is this? It's gonna be the death of me. Why? Why? Today I'm going through all of the recent products that I have done in videos and giving you updates on how I feel, how they wore, do I still wear them, all that jazz. Before I begin, of course, subscribe. I would super appreciate it. Hit the notification bell so you can be reminded when I upload a new video and hit the like button if you like this kind of video. Okay, let's get into it. Get into what, Jack? Get into this. The house is a mess, Jack. The kids are a mess, Jack. You're a mess, Jack. <sighs> there is so many things. So let's just jump. Let's just jump right in to the first product. Of all of the products I'm about to mention, this is probably the most watched one of recent videos that I've done reviews on. And of course, if you watch my channel, you already know what this is. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette. Such stunning palette. I literally use it in every video. I literally use it for everything and I can't live without it. And I can't live without it! Use the lighter shades to set my under eye. I use this as my highlighter. I use this as a bronzer or contour depending on the day and I will sometimes go in here with a little bit of blush. I mean it's a win-win palette. I did get the owl. I know you can't get the owl anymore. I know. But there are lots of other equally good palette covers that you could get that are just as great and you cannot go wrong with this palette. It's stunning. It's everything. It is the moment. It is me. This one went back a little ways. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream. The names of products these days are like a paragraph. I'm getting over it. It's not what you like. It's the consumer. So as you can see, I actually have rubbed this off using it because that's how hard I tried to use this. It's supposed to be hydrating, it's supposed to be plumping, it's supposed to be smoothing. You can put it on at nighttime before you go to bed or you can use it before your makeup, supposedly. I, I gave this a good go. You can see that I have tried. I have tried to make this work. On top of this being the most random, weird smelling product, I'm not seeing anything spectacular. It is a nice, cream that you could definitely put on before you go to bed, but I wouldn't say it's anything like like a Clarins line smoothing product or anything of that nature. It's okay. The smell really aggravated me. Like I just couldn't take the smell anymore. I feel like as time has gone on, the smell is worn down. Um, but in general, I just feel like you could probably save your money. This I never used this as a primer. It was just basically like a thin lotion for me, so it didn't really spill in anything and smooth my skin out for makeup. I don't think I need to say anymore, okay? Okay, this one. This, this one was so highly anticipated. I love Rose Ink. If you watch my channel, you know I use the Rose Ink Skin Enhancer Serum for literally every single day. Like, every time I put my makeup on, I will put it on. I even have it on today. It is one of the most amazing products. I love a lot of their things. Rose Ink does great stuff. So I was thinking, wow, this foundation is gonna be insane. What was insane was that it literally didn't do anything, nor did it look good in any capacity on my skin. There are probably lots of people who love this. The claims say that it is a skin smoothing liquid foundation that has a soft matte finish and hydrating weightless fluid. I feel like it was the least hydrating and smoothing looking foundation. I did a whole video on it, which will kind of give you like my initial thoughts. I've mixed it into other things and as long as what I've mixed it in overpowers it, <laughs> then it looks fine. Um, this just actually dries down and then leaves like powder spots on my face. I don't know how to describe this, but like once the hydrating portion like sinks into the skin, what's left for me was just like little bits of powder. For me, this was definitely a no. I don't even reach for this to mix in with other things. It just sits in the back of my makeup corner now. So no. No. All right, let's get into these. Now, every time I film a video that has any Jaclyn Hill products in it, I feel like I get reamed up one side of my butt and down the other. It's never a good situation. And I'll end up on some sort of weird gossip guru forum about somebody who's getting paid to review Jaclyn Hill products. I'm not, I buy all these with my own money. Uh, but this is the Jaclyn Hill Vanity Light Glaze Luminizer. I have two different shades of this, and this is great. Like, the way that they marketed this was 
was very much like a liquid dewy style highlight that does not pick up your makeup as you're putting it on and you can wear it over powders, which is currently how I wear all of my liquid or like sort of glazy dewy looking balm highlights. So I was pretty jazzed about this and it's okay. I have the uh, hourglass highlight on from the palette right now. So only powder, even though this doesn't even look like powder, it's stunning. Um, and it, it does look good. I'm not gonna say that this is a bad product. I just feel a little bit like this product is a little bit, like sometimes I can feel it on the skin or just a little bit more dense than let's say the Merit uh, highlighting balm I have in Bounce, which is still my number one favorite. This is a very close second. I do absolutely love this product. If you're looking for that type of glow or do, it does not pick up your makeup. It doesn't emphasize texture. It does look like that nice, dewy, uh, sweaty glow. I'm Ethereal one. This one is also beautiful. They're both really good. It's just that in comparison, to the Merit um, Highlighting Balm. I just reach for the Merit Balm a little bit more than I reach for these, but I'm gonna start incorporating these more into my routine because that is, I mean, that is just stunning. I would definitely say a yes to these. Don't sleep on these. These are actually pretty darn good. Okay, another one. Um, I made a whole video on this one. Got a lot of down votes on it. That's okay, I'm just giving my own personal thoughts. This is ABH's Fall Romance Palette. Beautiful, which is why I bought it. Um, lots of really great shades, little metallics in there, little shimmers. Um, the powders are very powdery. They're very like creamy feeling. Just for me, they don't work well together, which seemingly is a problem I have now every time I buy an ABH palette, which I hate because I used to love ABH palettes. I have a harder time getting this formulation to blend blend together and because it does require just a little bit more work, which me with my type of lifestyle, I just don't have that much time to be sitting forever and blending it. If you do and you love it, go for it. After I made that video, I saw all these other people making these amazing, gorgeous eye looks and I'm like, wow, it's just me actually. I just, I'm the problem. It's me and I suck. So it's, it's all personal preference. I do think the quality is good just for me. This is too hard to make work and blend for my life. So I will definitely be giving this probably away to somebody outside of it as you can see has this like feathery I don't even know like suede-ish thing that attracts every single hair as you can see in my house I don't it's magic it's like actually I could probably just use this to rub across my house and get rid of all the hair because it's essentially what this did I've got a plethora of concealer and I ain't done <laughs> there's more concealers out there that I want to try and get a hold of but for now let's go through recent ones that I have tried and put on my channel currently right now I have both of the Estee Lauder futurist skin sealers um, on my face I have the shade 3n across my whole face yes mixed with the rose ink uh serum that i use with everything i literally dot it and just spread it all across my face with a little light puff and look at that i mean it's beautiful i use it all across my face literally every day it's the easiest thing to put on and it looks it looks good okay it looks good to me to me it looks good and i use the shade 1c underneath my eye and it is it is, it's giving. It is giving. It is so, so good. It doesn't sit in any wrinkles. It doesn't sit in my lines. I adore the applicator. It feel, it looks and feels like tip of your finger pressing it in. Sometimes I'll do my whole face of makeup and then come back five hours later and be like, oh, I have to go somewhere again. And I'll put this over the top of all my makeup and redo it and it still does not look cakey or powdery or chunky. It is always, always beautiful. I actually got quite a few like DMs on this product when I posted it on my Instagram. It has an enormous shade range. So definitely take that into consideration. There's like a shade match finder online, which can be weird and not work for everyone. I just took a wild guess on these and um, um, they actually happen to work out really well for me. You could go in store as well and look, but I definitely don't think you should sleep on these. These are my favorite right now. I use them on my eyes and I use them on my face. I use them all over, I guess now. So the best. 
Also, when I do my makeup, I still am using, in conjunction with the Estee Lauder 1C under my eye, I will be putting the Lancome Serum Concealer. This is the shade 120N, and it is everything. A serum concealer should be serum-y. It should be moisturizing. It should have a little bit of, yes, some tint in there, but definitely making you look hydrated. I attribute part of the wonder of my under eyes for my age and crepiness to this product. So I will mix this and a little bit of the Futurist Skin Sealer together and it just gives an amazing hydrated look under the eye. It is a great, great concealer. I highly recommend and I really like the applicator. Another applicator that is very similar to the serum concealer from Lancome was the All Hours Precise Concealer that I did another video on. This is still a really, really great concealer. I don't reach for it as much as the Estee Lauder Futurist because because that one is just so amazing. But this is also really, really, really good. I am a big fan of YSL's All Hours Foundation. They relaunched fantastic products. So of course I had to pick this up. This is also very good and I'm thinking about getting this in a shade that's more close to match the rest of my face and trying this all across the face as well. But under eye, this looks great. And the uh, precision applicator point at the top is everything. It holds a little bit of product, but it also gets in all those little nooks and crannies. It's a beautiful, beautiful concealer. I would say it's a solid third place of all of the concealers that have launched. It is a very good product. The whole Slabs concealer I still feel very similarly about. I got the shade Fair Peach. A lot of people really liked it and when I made this video a lot of people were like, oh I love this concealer. I think it's great. I have tried this in any which way. I think it's really just a me issue which seems like a lot of things. It's personal preference. I do think it is not the worst concealer concealer ever made and I know I'm not very helpful every time I say that but it's it's not the worst it's just not the best I think it's a little too thick for my liking I don't care for the applicator and so much product comes over the top of it it's just it's not for me I can see where a lot of people would like it it's just for my dry wrinkly skin it ain't it. I think you guys have heard me talk about this in literally every single video and I'm sure you're sick of it and it'll probably be in the best of category for 2023 that I will film here in a couple weeks. And it is the NARS Afterglow Blush. This is the shade Dolce Vita. All of the shades are phenomenal, all of them. But this is my particular favorite shade. I actually think I'm gonna get the little trio thing they have going on right now for Christmas. It's just an amazing product. It's like I take a little bit of this applicator, dot, dot, dot on my hand, and just apply it like a regular blush. It doesn't pick up my makeup. I put it over the top of powders, and it just looks like this gorgeous, ethereal flush of color. It's stunning and it is a piece de resistance for sure in your makeup. It is everything. I would highly recommend getting this. Of all the things that I have mentioned, there's like two or three products in here that I definitely don't think you should sleep on. This is one of them. These are catching on like wildfire right now and everybody is loving them. So definitely don't wait to get your favorite shade. I have recently discovered the Fenty Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. Don't love the name. Doesn't matter. It's amazing. Uh, the packaging is a little uh, for me, but I don't even really care. I really don't even care. The mascara is phenomenal. If you're looking for big, bushy, full, thick lashes. This is it. This is where you need to go. Big, full, thick, fluffy lashes is the Hella Thick Mascara. It is so, so amazing. And I've been mixing it with one other mascara because I always use two mascaras. And that one is from Swede. So I heard a lot of like UK influencers and stuff talking about this mascara. And I had to get on the bandwagon. You know me, I have a bending problem. <laughs> so this is Swede's Pro Lash Lift Mascara. And as you can see, it has more of like a comb for the actual wand, which I don't normally love. But in this case, I love it is so 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 good and I always just take a little bit of that excess off because there's a lot of product that gets stuck in there and then you don't want to be too clumpy but it will lift and lift and lift and lift these things anywhere you put this mascara it's gonna lift something I'm not kidding it is absolutely the best mascara. Don't sleep on it. In fact, sometimes what I do is like I have it on right now is I put it on and then I'll go back through later and do a couple pumps of this because the formulation is just whatever the formulation it is I don't know clay concrete whatever 
look at that it'll just oh, it lifts it even further it looks like i'm wearing false lashes and it is just it's oh, it's the best it's the best mascara last but not least this drugstore baby that is oh, so good. This is L'Oreal Infallible's 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder, which is a full matte coverage waterproof foundation. I have the shade 140 Golden Beige, which is almost exactly the precise color I needed. So, super, super amazing product. It is very much a velvet finish, looks very much like the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Powder. It is so good on the skin. And every time I wear it, it kind of just creates this film across my face like I've put a filter on. No joke. It is so good. I do a very light hand of this because this can get really thick really quick. So I put it on a nice little fluffy puff and I just tap, 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 tap across the skin very, very lightly because to go in with anything more would be a lot of product. You can just use it by yourself. Obviously, it's a foundation powder. And I actually don't think it looks terrible. My skin's maybe a little too dry to use it that way. But on the whole, I would say that's a fantastic powder if you're in the market for a foundation powder or you're in the market for something that's going to be a little more blurring and smoothing across the face to set your foundation. It's phenomenal. Okay. I don't think I can think of anything else. This is all of the most recent stuff that I have mentioned in videos. Definitely give me your thoughts down below. I'm so interested in hearing wonderful products that have been working for you guys lately. Sometimes you guys tip me off on things and then I'm like, oh, I need to try that too. So I love hearing what other things you guys have going on with your makeup collection and definitely stay tuned for some more holiday style videos. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I will link everything down below and thanks so much for watching guys. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.